What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today with a review for BET Presents The Encore. This is season one, this is episode six, and the episode was titled Demons and Division. You guys, the twins, the twins, the twins, the twins. We're gonna talk about them before we get into the review. If you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel, and not already subscribed to the channel, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Stop checking me out on a date and I have to pay for my meal at the end of it. Like the video, share the video, all of that stuff. Now, without now without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and talk about BT Presents The Encore. All right, you guys. So, the episode opens up and we see Misha and we see Pam in the kitchen, right? So, Misha apologizes to Pam and <laughs> she was about to hug Pam. She was about to give Pam a hug. She's like, you know what, Pam? Uh -uh. I love you, and we good, and we sisters. And Pam accepted her apology. One of them damn twins, I don't know which one it was, one of them damn twins came in there, and they were talking. And in her interview with the producers, she's always talking about the fact that Misha picks a fight, and then the next day she'll come back and apologize. But y'all do the same shit. Y'all pick fights with people. Y'all have picked fights since the beginning of this show. Y'all have picked fights with Misha, with Irish with Aubrey with Keely, although I can't stand Keely. Y'all have picked fights with people, right? So then we see Aubrey. So Aubrey is talking to Pam, and you know Pam is just really excited for whoever's gonna come from her group's total. Um, and Aubrey doesn't know if anybody's gonna come from her group, but I was like, I don't see anybody coming from Danny D. Kane. Like, I don't see anybody coming from Danny D. Kane, to be quite honest with you. Um, I thought maybe Shannon could come, but I'm like, I don't even know if Shannon will come. Um, and then Aubrey talks about the fact that, you know, um, she's able to, how she's able to deal with slander. I will say, though, I, I will say I do feel that people have come at Aubrey unnecessarily. I'm talking about the group. I'm talking about the group. I feel like some of them have come at her unnecessarily. I feel like Elijah came at her unnecessarily. I know Elijah was on live last night with Aaliyah and Cosine, and they were talking about how the editing is. I get, I, I, I get it. When it comes to these reality shows, yes, editing is a bitch. But they only, they can only edit. I hate when people use that. Oh, it's editing. Oh, it's editing. Oh, it's editing. They can only edit what you guys give them. Yes, they can cut and paste and shit what and whatnot, but they're only editing what you guys specifically give them. And I know with Elijah, Cosine, and Leah, they said they, they, you know, they for them, they weren't in the house that much. They were in their hotels. They were in their hotel rooms, and then they would get them from their hotels and come to the house. So they they didn't spend a lot of time in the house. But you're gonna talk about that. Um. So I guess I'm going to move on, you guys. All right, guys. So then Cita calls the ladies, right? <clears throat> so it was in this moment that I realized that Cedar was actually talking to the ladies live. Like, I thought for this whole, I thought this whole time that Cedar was pre-recorded, but she's not. Because they were like, look at somebody, so-and-so's shoes. I'm like, oh, wait, Cedar's actually talking to them? Okay. So Tita, Cita tells them at this point that they need to finalize the tracks, right? Because they're getting ready to have this listening party, you know, with the group members and everything, right? Is this person coming? Uh, who is this? Oh, uh, somebody from my cousin. Um, so yeah, they, you know, Cedar told them that they need to finalize the track, right? So they talk about what they need. Um, so they bring up a song called Leave, Don't Go, or, or something like that, that Cosine has, and they need it. And this is the moment in which the, tw the twins really started to rub me wrong. You know what I'm saying? So then the twins get upset and they get frustrated about the song Bird's Eye View. So I so I noticed there were two versions of of um, songs, right? There was I guess I think there were two versions of "Leave, Don't Go" and um, "Bird's Eye View." So 
they text Cosign because Cosign had his copy with him that I guess he did not leave at the house for them to go over, which was interesting in itself. Um, so then they play both versions, right? They played, I think it was Felicia's version, and they played Cosign's version. The versions weren't too off. I don't, I can't tell you guys which version I like more. Because I like cosines, but I kind of like Felicia's as well. Like I said, we're going to talk about those twins in just a little bit, right? We're going to definitely discuss those two. Because I just have a lot of issues with the twins. It's their approach when it comes to a lot of shit. It's their approach. They have the worst approach known to mankind. So then we get the listening party. We see people showing up. We Now, I'm going to talk about the people that I knew for a fact. Jazzy Faye was there. Mila. Kima from um, Total. Ronnie came with guests for Shamari. So then we see Kima and we see um, Pam have a conversation with each other. And Kima tells Pam, like, you know what, Pam, when it comes down to this whole thing, like this group shit, like, I, I never, you know, I, when you stop being with Total, you then just iced us out, like, you blocked us. I'm like, damn, she blocked y'all? Like, she blocked y'all and shit? Like, damn, that's fucked up, Pam. Like, you really blocked them? And Kima's whole thing is, I want our friendship back where it was. Like, I don't care about the whole group shit. I want our friendship back. So then we get the listening party. So they start playing the song. So the first song that they played was Skeletons. And honestly, I like Skeletons. When I heard it previously, I wasn't feeling it. But Skeletons is a good song. I like Skeletons. So then they played that and they actually stopped them in the middle of the playing. And they were like, wait a minute. Like, it's not y'all. Like, how are we supposed to know who is who on the track? Like, we need y'all to do something. Like, so they do So they do um, start getting on the track, right? And um, they start performing. And then next up, they played Only God Knows, which is a song that Pam wrote, right? And it's a really good song. I will say that. I like that song, Only God Knows. Really good song. And I was looking at Aubrey the entire time. I'm like, Aubrey is hella uncomfortable. Because Aubrey's face was just showing. I'm like, Aubrey is not feeling this in any way, shape, form, or fashion, right? So then next they do Talking. Still love Talking. That is a good song. That is a banger right there. I do know that Aaliyah and Cosign them on the, on the live. They said music is coming. So just keep that in the back of your membrane. So then the next record they play is Bird's Eye View. And that sounded good. And it was at this point I was looking at um at um Irish. Irish has an issue. I'm like, oh shit. But I wouldn't tell you guys. If you know if you didn't notice, the twins had a lot of parts. If you know the twins had a lot of parts. Everybody else was like backing vocals. Like everybody actually on one song, it sounded like I it sounded like not Irish, Misha is. I think Misha started the song. So I'm like, wait a minute. So Misha got a singing part on the song. Okay. Let's move on. All right, you guys. So we see Pam and Kima. So they're having. They're still talking, right? So Kima feels some type of way about Pam because Pam, she's like Pam. Like it's one thing for you to go, you know, to leave Total and do your solo individual stuff. That's fine. I'm. I don't have an issue with that get your money but my issue with you is the fact that you dropped our group we not making money but you come over here and do this show and Pam was like well you know I feel like God sent me here to do this and I'm like I get that and then when um, Kima told uh, told Pam that she told them that she was Beyonce and they was Destiny's Child I'm like oh my God no you did not say that. when did she say this I know she didn't say this after the Bad Boy tour. Like, I know damn well she didn't say this after the Bad Boys tour. Like, girl, are you serious? You are Beyonce and they are basically Kelly and Michelle? Okay, Pam. I guess. I guess. So, Aubrey was talking to somebody. I, I, I didn't catch what his name was. And she's talking about how the... um. I think she was talking about the uh, the vocal coach. Yeah, she just said the vocal coach. I have here, 
how the producer was named, but she said the vocal coach, whatever her name was, Cinnamon. She's talking about how Cinnamon was rude to her. Now, unless unless the editing cut that out, I never saw where Cinnamon was rude to Aubrey. I never saw that. So then, um, oh, I got ahead of myself with Pam. No, I didn't. So yeah, she was talking about how Cinnamon was rude to her, which, like I said, if less editing cut it out, we never saw it. So then we see Irish and Misha, and they talking to Mila. Now, Irish, why did you feel the need to ex- explain to Mila what was going on in the house and how you feeling about not being on the track? Because Mila said, "Hell, I would have never known. I would have never known nothing any, any any otherwise. Like, I would have never known. Exactly. If she would have never known." Irish, you should really just keep me. I get it at this point. Irish is frustrated that she doesn't feel like she's on enough songs, right? This, honestly, all roads do lead back to the twins. Excuse me for burping in y'all face, y'all. All all roads leads back to the twins. Now, the funny thing is, Misha's in a positive space. Irish isn't. Irish is ready to go home. I'm like, oh wow, my, I have a tables have turned, right? All right, you guys, so we're going to move on and wrap up the episode. All right, you guys, so the next morning we see Misha. So Misha is in the kitchen. She's talking to Pam, Keely, and um, Shamari. I'm still trying to figure out what the purpose of this goddamn Keely is. Keely, Keely, Keely. I noticed in one scene, actually in the next scene, we're going to talk about that. Keely is really annoying. Like, I don't like Keely. I can't stand Keely. I don't get Keely's the Keely talking about she's a creative director. You have not directed a one, a, a one, two, or three things. Like, really? Actually, she was in the kitchen with. Did I say I said Misha was talking to Keely, Pam, and Shamari? So she's talking about how Irish feels, which, like I said, once again, I understand where Irish is coming from. Irish feel. I mean, I think everybody feels like this at this point that it is the twins. It's all about the twins. It's all about them. If they don't like how you sound, or if they don't like, if they don't like what they, really and truly, if they don't like how you sound, they don't want you on the record. And that's literally what it boils down to. If the twins don't like your sound, they don't want you on the record. And it's it's, it's either their way or no way. And that's not how this should be. I think the twins are okay with them. And even the twins' vocals are not that strong. They're not that strong. Let's be real. Let's 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 tell the truth and shame the devil. The twins' vocals are not that strong. If anybody's vocals in this house are strong, it is Shamari who oversings sometimes, and it's Nivea. Those two have the stronger vo- Those who have the stronger vocals. So I feel like they're okay with Shamari and Nivea being on songs, but when it comes down to maybe Pam, uh, Irish, and Misha, they could care. They couldn't care less. Keely. Again, we don't know what Keely is here for. Actually, I know what Keely is here for. Keely is here to be a shit stirrer. That's all Keely is here for. I'm overlooking at Keely and her face. I'm over Keely at this point, right? So they say that they understand, which, like I said, I understand how she feels. Like I said, it's the damn twins. Now, we see Aubrey. Aubrey was trying to stuff her feet in them, in them shoes. I'm like, girl, you might want to stop. And I'm looking at that room. I'm like, oh, that room is nasty. Like, do y'all not clean up? I'm pretty sure. I mean, God damn, that room is nasty. So Aubrey now is starting to have second thoughts about the group, which I saw that coming. Actually, like I said, when it came down to them doing that, um, when they were doing the, uh, what was it? The, the listening party. I could look at Aubrey's face. I'm like, Aubrey is not Aubrey is checked out at this point. Actually, I think Aubrey was checked out after last week's episode, but she came back. I don't know if Carlos said, hey, Aubrey, we need you to stay at least a look, an, another day so we can get, you know, just one more episode. We can keep you on at least one more episode. I don't know. So then we see the next morning, Keely's like, has anyone seen Aubrey? Has anyone seen Aubrey? Has anyone seen Aubrey? Has anyone seen Aubrey? Well, you know, Aubrey was sleeping in my room, but now she's not. So I went, she was sleeping in another room. She was sleeping in another room, but her stuff is not there. Don't tell anyone. I think she's gone. Keely, shut up. God, I can't stand Keely. God, I cannot stand Keely. Can't stand her. 
So now at this point, they realize that Aubrey is gone, right? And they're talking about the songs that they have left. They have the songs that they have, and how they have to take Aubrey off of the song, and they have to redo the song. I'm like, was she that detrimental to the song? Like, was she that important to the song? Because I, I I I never saw it, especially with I mean, I guess if they want to say that she was that. Okay, they're acting all surprised at this point. Now my thing with them is y'all are acting so surprised that Aubrey left. Now one person that I will say that was really surprised was Nivia, and I'll give it to Nivia. Nivia hasn't done any from what we saw. Nivia hasn't done anything to any of the ladies. Nivia is there to get the job done. Nivia is there for comedic relief and all that stuff. So I will say Nivia hasn't done anything. But for the likes of Keely, the likes of Fallon and Felicia to sit here and act shocked and a surprise baffles me. How are y'all sitting here acting shocked, baffled, and surprised when you three have had the most issues with Aubrey in the last episode? The twins. Y'all just went off on Aubrey, asked her was she talking shit about the music when she was not talking shit about the music. She was saying we need some up tempo songs which she was not wrong about like the twins I'm, I'm sorry you guys i'm elevating my speech because the twins really annoy me and they really annoy me toward the end of this episode even keely annoyed me so cosign shows up to the house right i'm still trying to figure out why keely is in the studio once again i'm gonna ask this question what is keely's purpose why is keely in the studio if you've not laying vocals, why are you in the studio? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why are you in the studio? Get your ass out the studio. You said you're a creative director. You said you don't want to be on this project. Get the f- out of the studio, Keely. Leave. Move. Let them be in the studio. So like I said, Cosign comes right, and this is where the shit hits the fan. Because they um they're playing they tell the um the sound engineer to play the record um, Bird's Eye View. Cosign says, oh no, that's not the version. So he stops him. It's Felicia's, it's Felicia or Fallon's version, whichever one. I don't know. He tells him to stop playing that version to play his version. And I will say that was a little rude. I will give I will give them that. That was rude for him to say stop playing their version to play his. I would have had I would have liked it if Cosign said, you know what? Let's listen to this version and let's listen to mine and let's compare and contrast the two. Which one sounds better? And, you know, actually, when Cosine played his version, Shamar was over there bouncing, you know. And then he looked at Fallon or Felicia, whichever one it is, and, like, you look like you're feeling some type of way. And he's like, but, you know, did, did, um, did, you know, did, um, Shamar, like, she was feeling some type of way? She was like, I don't give a, f- did I, I don't give a fuck how she feels. I was like, oh, well, damn. Well, tell him how you really feel. Now, I will say I didn't agree with him telling her to calm down. So then him and her had a whole going back and forth. And for me with the twins, if anybody works with the twins after this show, y'all stupid. Because the thing with the twins is the twins don't know how to work with other people. That's what it is. That's what I'm noticing. They don't know how to work well with other people. And at this point, I feel like the twins need to say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's write all the songs. Let's produce all the songs. Let's mix and master all the songs. Let's do everything. So that way... Can't nobody so so that way it's our work. No one can take it from us. And then she's talking about how the fact he's not even in the house like that. But I like I told you guys, they said that they on the, on their live that they were they spent a lot of time in their hotel room. And he says, you know, he ain't, he says, and nobody came to me about you know giving him a master, so I don't have to rush myself. Which that, I mean, I, if you don't have a time limit, that makes sense. Which they do have thirty days, but I don't know what point in point in the um, process they are. I will say, Cosign said something that really did resonate with me on the live last night. Because I was watching bits and pieces of it. Fallon was in the live. She wanted, she had so much to say, they didn't bring her on the live. Um, and I really didn't see what she was saying on the live. Because she then said she was going on to her, her, um, her Instagram to go live. I went over to her Instagram. I didn't see her on, on live. So I don't know if she got on live or not. You guys can let me know if you saw that. I didn't see it. But the one thing that Cosign said that I thought about, and I'm like, the, and, it, and, and that's what, it'll go back to what I just said a minute ago. With the twins, the twins, for me, it feels like the twins don't know how to work with other people. 
Because when you get in the studio with people, when you get in the studio with people, you bounce ideas off of one another. So you'd be like, oh shit, I like that. And you, you know, and we saw people go get on, you know, get, go get a drum beat or something or go get on the piano or be like, oh, I got this idea in my head about how this can sound. Let me get in the booth and put this down. Like people collaborate with each other. And with the twins, it just does not feel like a collaborative effort. It just feels like it's all about them. And I tweeted that. I'm like, the twins, I feel, I said this, the twins need to produce this shit themselves. Mind you, if this, if this EP comes to fruition and I look at the EP and I get, I look at the credits and I see the twins name on it, I'm not buying a record. I I don't want to support them. I I can't support them because I I won't support them. If it has Elijah co-sign all of them on, if it has other people on there and if, and if it does have Fallon and Felicia on there. I buy it, but I, I, if it just has those those two alone, I ain't buying it. No matter how good the song is, because I just don't, I can't support. And the thing with the thing for me with the twins is the twins are very cocky, and they're very arrogant, and that's what it is. Like I remember, like actually I saw this, where whatever twin it was last week that compared herself, trying to compare herself to Missy Elliott. She came back and tried to clean it up, but it still wasn't that good of a cleanup. But girl, y'all let me know how y'all felt about this episode. The twins are full of shit. I know that there are people out there that like the twins, but I just, they rub me the wrong way. And Keely, let's talk about her ass real quick. She felt some type of way about Elijah saying shorty, babe, or whatever. I'm like, but Keely, you've called everybody, you call people Bubba babe and all that stuff now i get it it's 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 a man and she's a woman but either way it go people don't there are people who don't like being called those those names like me i don't like that don't call me honey don't call me sweetie don't call me babe don't call me none of that shit if you just meet me for the first time don't call me that call if i tell you to call me by my name call me gerald because i'm gonna tell if i meet you for the first time i'm gonna tell you to call me gerald that's my first name and if you call me babe Hun, love, sweetie, any of that shit. I'm gonna be like, that is not my name. I wish you would call. I wish you would. You could you could address me as sir. I would prefer you call me sir. I don't like sir, but I would prefer that over babe, honey, sweetie, any of that bullshit. But that's it, you guys. Let me again. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Wear your mask or not, whichever one you guys do. Be blessed and be safe. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.